Welcome to this overview of the ORCID Extender app for Sundry automation and validation in Sage order entry. We will demonstrate entering a new order directly in Sage 300 as some of the orders don't start with a quote and uh, we will review some automations that are available in the ordering process. Extender will warn us if the sales margin is low. The workflow has then been configured to post a notification in Microsoft Teams when a new order is created in Sage 300. When we ship an invoice, Extender will automatically create a PDF of the OE invoice and email it to the OE invoice contacts configured against the customer using multiple contact. Finally, back in Sage 300, the users can um, then view the invoices and other documents saved on the network folder as well as in SharePoint using document management link. So for this I'm now going to hand over to Anne to do this presentation. Steve receives a PO, PO 456, from Custom Comfort for the new screens and desk pads and he takes notes of the agreed price of $140 for the large screens. Steve goes to enter this order for customer 1500 and filling in the details that he knows are needed for the referencing of this order. And when adding the screen, he's going to override the unit price to $140. And when he posts the order, he gets the warning message that the sales margin is less than the 10% minimum set for this company. We could have designed an error message which prevented the order from being saved, or we could have had a workflow being automatically started, requiring approval before the order could be shipped and invoiced. For this order though, it's just a warning message so he can go ahead and save the order. Anne sees the new notification in Teams for the new order and notes that the screens have been sold at a special price, so needs to check that. Anne goes to view this order in order entry. and notes that Steve has changed the unit price to 140 for the screens and checks that in the contract which is stored in SharePoint for this particular customer that the new contracted price is $140. And also notes that the average price that for this item for this customer is 177 and that's been the history over the last financial year. Nevertheless, seeing so to the pricing agrees to the contract, she goes ahead to ship an invoice. And knowing that Custom Comfort are waiting for their invoice, clicks the button to create the PDF for this particular invoice, Invoice 93, which will be filed away for Document Management link and emailed to the customer. So the first notification we get is that the Invoice 93 PDF has been created and now emailed to the customer based on the customer's email preference. The first email is sent to Natalie and the second email is sent to David. And invoice 93 is filed away for this customer, Custom Comfort, for subsequent access. 
The PDF could have been produced automatically when the invoice was created and the email sent without clicking the email invoice button. And similarly, the email messages could be sent without having to confirm OK, OK. These were just left in so we could see what was happening. The email was sent to both Natalie and David for Customer 1500 because we had configured multiple contacts for Customer 1500. And on the Contact tab, both Natalie and David have been flagged to receive the OE invoice. And we can see in our email notifications that two emails were sent to Natalie and to David. And checking either Natalie or David's email, we see they have invoice 93 with the PDF attached of the invoice and details of the invoice, controlled by the message template. And here we see the two items with the pricing we expected. And just as the documents can be made available for viewing in order entry, we can configure the same documents to be available in the customer inquiry screen. So we have all the invoices that have been issued to this customer and the contract in SharePoint. And when we highlight a specific individual invoice, it can be highlighted and isolated in this box here. Thanks, Anne. Our scenario demonstrated how Sage 300 users can collaborate using Microsoft Teams platform. Okay, they can automate printing processes and make documents available in Sage 300. Documents can be saved in a network folder, in a shared drive, or in SharePoint.